What's going on YouTube? Welcome back today to a brand new video. I hope y'all are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up a couple more Crown Zenith packs, as you can see here. Got another ETB and a Richie Lucky collection box. But also, let's throw in one of the Pikachu V boxes. Got four more still saved. So, I thought, why not crack one? Getting this out. Get that Pikachu. Don't need to show it off because we've seen it a bunch of times. And you'll be seeing it a lot more because of the amount of these boxes I still have saved. V, Jumbo. But now we got the packs. And there's your code. We do have a decent amount of packs to go through. Where did I put the top of the box? We do have a decent amount of packs to go through. So we'll save the we'll do like the card trick for evolving size. We're not gonna save evolving size for last, like for like you do. But for brilliant stars, we're just gonna we gotta breathe right through them. Because brilliant size is nice, but it ain't no it ain't no Crown Zenith and it ain't no Evolving Skies, but see, now that means it could be a Crown Zenith or Evolving Skies. Because that's a, that's a good code. That's a, that could be a Charizard V or Arceus V Altart code. We got an error pack. That was four uncommons instead of an energy. Carablast, Kiruby, Corfish, Sock. Colette. Garchomp, rare, and an energy. First of all, this Garchomp is scuffed all at the bottom, as you can see. This hollow rare is pretty scuffed. But also, we didn't get a reverse, we got an energy. So we got an extra uncommon and no reverse. Odd pack, and not in a good way. Shorted us to one of the more valuable cards, like a chance at a more valuable card. Let's see if it happens again. We got another Brilliant Stars. One, two, three, four. Is this an energy? Okay, so that package just messed up. Well, that means that there's probably nothing in those rolling skies if there's two blacks out of Brilliant Stars. Let's be honest. Got cast form, Chimchar, Ball Toy, Aerodos Character Rare, and. Okay, so they lied. Okay, well, hey, Aerodos Character Rare. I haven't seen Character Rare out of any other set besides Crown Zenith for a while. Nice. Let's go Evolving Skies. We're looking for that Umbreon or Sylveon VMAX Altart. Or the V Alt or any duplicate V Altart, such as like the Umbreon, which is valuable. Another Dragonite, Rayquaza. Because I need some for when TCG con comes to Florida. Got Vigoroth, Dream Ball, Zenith Resolve, Dragon Roller, Psyduck, Swablu, C Dot, Wubat, Reverse Lilligan, and what is with these packs? Why did I just get two reverses? Was this a black? This was a black. Okay, so I think this meant to, was meant to be a hollow Zorak, but they gave us a reverse one instead, so it's less valuable. Okay then. So somebody tells me these boxes are gonna be a little odd when we get to maybe even more of them. Let's check this. Last Evolving Skies pack. Seems like we're getting ruined here a little bit, but I don't really know how to describe it because we're getting hit packs, but not hit packs. Got a little love disc, Fletchling. Chin Chow. Ruben Badge. Requires a V. Was that a black? That was a black. Okay, so we at least got a V. Requires a V. Just a normal V. Probably not even worth like a dollar now since Crown Zenith reprinted it and it's easier to pull and it's nicer in that set. But two hits out of the Pikachu box. Nothing insane though. So, hmm. Now let's get to the Crown Zenith Reggie Lucky box. I will need these, this Reggie Lucky promo for the binder, because I need every promo. There's the Reggie Echo Cosmo foil. Exclusive hollow to the box. There's the Reggie Lucky V promo. There's your code. Close it back up. There's the Jumbo form, just a big version of the V. I'll show the V off a little more. All right, this is where we want to see some more hits. So we'll sleeve him up. Last box of Reggie Dracker I opened, I got a gold card, so maybe the V boxes of Reggie Lucky are just as good. Four packs of Crown Zenith. Let's go. Pack number one. Card. A V-Star marker. It seems like almost now, every single time I start off with, with Crown Zenith, I get a V-Star marker. We got Luxio. Matang, Shaman, Ponyard, 
Yana, Mr. Mine, Potion, Grubbin, Heliolus Reverse, and Taurus Non Hollow. Alright, so now they got pack one. Wait. Why did I put that code cut up there? What was it for Brilliant Stars? Yeah, why did I put that up there? Next pack, Crown Xena. Well, all these guys' luck isn't doing too good. Maybe our Zenith luck will be better. Maybe we'll pull a gold card on camera for once and not pull three off camera. Carnivine, Lost Vacuum. I see at least something in the back. Wulu, Heliolopto, Pancham, Switch, Snow Rat, Reverse Water Energy. I need that one. And the Simi Severe. Okay, it took, it took me long enough to finally pull a V I need for the binder. So I need both of these for the binder because I need all these hollow energies and their respective full arts to go in front. So we will take both of those, V in reverse, all right. The reverse doesn't really count for anything because it's not really worth anything, but the V is a hit. I just need the reverse hollow and I sleeve them up so they don't get like scratched up easily. Because the energies are the easiest things in the world to scratch up as a reverse hollow. Good card. One, two, three. Now the V-Star markers, seems like these V-Star markers are a lot more common. Carnivine, Rescue Carrier, Lair on, Bidoof, Coughing, Slandit, Purloin, Scrub, Show us one. Okay, what's in the back? We got a double, we got a double pack, I think. We need the Zero or VMAX. I will take that gladly. Is that a gold? Okay, so that's not a gold. Dark V Star character alt art. Nice. Wow, my luck on these boxes are pretty good. This is a good one too. It's like a $20 one. This one of the more expensive ones. And it's one I need. That's three. That's two packs in a row with cards I need. Nice. I need the VMAX and I need the V Star of this card too. I thought it was weird how the card wasn't like going, like the scrub wasn't like moving up easier. As if it was like a reverse. Last pack. Let's see if we can get, maybe, I don't know, throw a Radiant Charizard in there, why not? I think this has a V-Star marker. Yep. All right. Let's go. Let's hit it. Rescue Carrier. Lair on. Friends in the center. Rockruff. Air on. Realu. Starly. Scyther. Reverse Friends of Center, I do need that, and drag a Lodge. All right, I don't need the Friends of Center Reverse, so I'll just put that aside. Not a bad box. Got the full art Darkrai alt art, and a Zero V Max and Simi CV. Doing our scoop up. Let's get into the final box. We got an ETB of Crown Zenith. Let's see if we can pull that Mewtwo, finally. The Mewtwo that we are looking for. Or the gold Dialga to complete the gold a little picture. Got 10 packs. I'll count them to make sure. Obviously, you got your promo. From one hand to the next. Let's move over. Where is that code card? Where is it? I've been one of these before without even a code, without a promo before. Which made me very upset because imagine like one little kid just got, was only allowed one of these. And no code, no code card for you. I mean, no promo. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's rock it. Pack number one. Let's go. Code card. Why did I throw the code? Code's going to stack. Four. We need more of those full RV stars. We can't be doubling up on them. Energy switch. Cracker Rock. Lunatone. Whelmer. Pokeball. The only one I will take to double up on is the gold ones. Specifically the Arceus or the Garantina. Corvish, Oddish, Seal. Crack Rock Reverse, I think I need that one. And Zora, Zora, Zera Aura, not Zora. Zera Aura, not Hall. I'm pretty sure I need that Crack Rock because most of the dark types in the reverse I need because I know I can't just barely notice if they reverse because they're a dark type. Code card. Four. Let me guys know if you guys are hyped up for the new Scarlet and Violet set. I might get a, I might get one of each booster box to open, maybe. Maybe I'll do one for the 50 subscriber special. Who knows? Pancham, Switch, Snow Run, Livesta, 
Tangela. Oh, we got a that's a V. Oh, nice. The full art psychic energy. I'm gladly gonna take that. And if it's a sweet coin, I'll be I'll, I won't be mad. My third Zashian. Are you kidding me? How? I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a. It's at least a good dupe. It's like a twenty dollar one, so it's a good dupe. But when you only usually get like one of those per ETB. I mean, we did get it in pack number two, so maybe there's a chance. Who knows? I'll take the full light energy gladly, though. I do need the full light energy. But when you only get like one per box, you don't want to duplicate when you're trying to complete a set. That's tough. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that was only about in pack number two, so we have a good shot of maybe getting another one. Those are the first two hits of the box, too. They're pretty good. Not a bad way to start it. Go card. Four, and I do have another one of the Crown Zenith ETBs and the Crown Zenith uh, Regilecki boxes, as well as four more Pikachu V boxes. So that will be like a dupe content you'll be seeing. But I at least hope you guys enjoy it, because at least it's like good sets that you get to watch open. Quick guitar. The Electivire. I need this one, because I have the Mag Mortar. And the EVV that was like Japanese promo. Most of the cards in the set seem to used to be Japanese promos. Like there's a Pikachu promo coming in on Pikachu box right now. With the PG Remax, both of them used to be Japanese exclusive promos. Nice, we're doing pretty good on this box. Getting a lot of cards we need, too. First, what? Three packs? Something in the sleeve. First three packs, we got four hits. Nice. We got Eevee and Electivire. Nice. Both of those will be going in the binder. Nice. What else was the Psychic Energy? Next pack. There we go. Show us a gold or a V star. Or give me some V's and V stars I need from the normal set, like the Charizard V stars, Odyssey and Zamazenta, Simi Seer. I just need like a bunch of normal cards that I'm just gonna end up buying for like a dollar or two. Gorefish, Oddish, Seal, Kurtot, Aeron, Reverse Zamazenta, I don't, I already have that one, and Pangorona. Oh. Alright, we're on two, three, four, five left after this. Alright. This weekend I'm going out to my local Walmart and hunting down some of this set in the wild. I haven't found any of it. Four. But they should have some of it stocked up with ETBs in some of those collection boxes by now. Energy retrieval. Shinx. Lavesta. Ponyard. Wilmer. The reverse psychic energy, I'm pretty sure I also need that one too. And Electro not hollow. I'll save the energy just because it's like actually no, because I might actually have this one. This might be the one I already have. No, I already have the steel one. So we'll sleep this one up. We're getting a lot of cards for the binder, at least. I will take that. Like even if I'm not getting like really good hits, I'll take the I'll take the amount of completion I'm getting out of the set. Wrong stack. Three, four. Let's go. And as for Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, I am trying to get back on track with those. It's just without being able to find product at Walmart and product getting expensive at card stores, it's getting tough. Which is why when TCG Con comes up in like sometime in February, I should be able to get a lot more Yu-Gi-Oh! indefinitely. Pokeball. Reverse Digging Do. I already have that one. And the last one at all. All right. Last four packs. Let's go. Come on. Show us our first gold on camera. Because I know the moment I get like a box and open it off camera just for fun, I'm going to pull a gold card and be upset. I think there's a V-Stone marker. That's not. Hmm. It's either going to be that or I'm going to pull an alt dart off camera. Like from Evolving Skies or like a, some modern set. Energy Switch. Croc Rock. Snow Runt. Rock Ruff. Tangela. Battle Toy. Glam Meowth. That's a character rare. The Paris, that's the last baby card I needed, and the beat signature. Okay, that was a lot cluster. All right, this is my last sleeve in this pack, so I'll have to crack a new pack after this if we get another pull, which we probably will out of three packs, hopefully. The Paris baby. God baby, we'll call it that. This pack opens very easily. Code card. 
See what we did last time. We opened the pack upside down. We got a hit. Got a grass energy. Got a layer on. Friends and Sinner. Got a Gloom. Got Rock Ruff. Tangela. Ball Toy. Glam Meowth. Energy Retrieval. Reverse Royal Lord. All right. And an Executor. So nothing out of that from doing it upside down. Maybe it's like we don't like being flipped upside down. Get that pack open. These packs don't do that like rip and then push easier. Three, four. Let's go. Got lightning energy. Rescue carrier. Salazzle. Carnivine. Scrub. Hit up tile. Wooloo. Shinx. Pancham, reverse dust clops. I actually might need that. And a like put dust clops to the side. But now thinking about it, I think I'm pretty sure I've had that one actually. Last pack. Are we really gonna get no hits out of three packs in a row from ATB? Code card. We didn't get a single V star. Let's do let's do the change real quick. Let's do a quick one, two, three. Whoop. Let's go. We got fighting energy, crushing hammer, carnivine, rare candy, the optile, Wooloo, Shinx, Panchan, Snow Run. The full art fighting energy. Nice. I'm actually glad they take that. And reverse ponyo. This one I don't know if I need. There's two different ones. I gotta open a new pack of sleeves. Gotta get the frick out for this. Come on. Give me that sleeve. Give me that sleeve. There we go. Now we're finally pulling these full light energies. Took a while, but we finally pulled one. That's two in ETB, actually. Right? Didn't we pull two in one? Oh, yeah, we did. We pulled the fighting and psychic. Nice. Yeah, so it seems like you get one of these full light character rares. On average, you should get like one per ETB. So that is upsetting that we did get a duplicate. I feel like collection boxes might be the way to go at $20 a box. I don't personally know. But the fact that you get, that you can have a chance to get like multiple in a box to none in a box, I don't know. It's up to you how you feel like you're willing to take your risk. Well, that wasn't a bad ETB. We got three, six, seven hits. Only five actually, because this is not a full art. Six hits, sorry. Two character rares, a V of alternate art character rare, and two full art energies. Nice, not a bad ETB. But guys, that will be it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what you guys do want to see in more future videos. If you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon or maybe more battle videos, I'll try and get those out. But that will be it for today's video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.